so let's say you have uh, a convolution neural network right and you have an input of the size or uh, input map what is known as input map of the size w cross h this is the input and this is the filter or a kernel you are applying which has certain values filled in this matrix that is of this size okay r rows and s col so let's understand how much computations or how much calculations you have to do on the in these neural networks convolution neural networks to arrive at down and we'll take these uh, terms your input size is w cross h and uh, basically your s cross r is your kernel or a weight so what would you do the first operation for doing any matrix multiplication is what you do is multiplication okay so you multiply if you look at the image here you multiply row and column and then you do addition so the first part is you do element wise multiplication first row first column first row second column basically you are doing a multiplication and that is so the m of what you commonly heard term is mac and that is the m of the mac so for any matrix multiplication the first aspect you do is multiplication which is element by element multiplication okay. then you add those okay so basically to arrive at certain thing you multiply first row first column you multiply and then add all those values and that is the addition of that and in order to add basically you will have a previously so stored value and then in addition to that the new multiplication that you have just done you will add it into the previous stored value and generate a new output so basically to in order to produce each you will do multiplication of this and then add the values to generate a one output so that is a so basically for every output you will do certain set of multiplication and addition operations and the, and so typically the complexity or, or or the complexity of the algorithm is calculated in terms of how many multiplications and addition or max combined term you do uh, or you do in a neural network algorithm and how fast you can do those max it depends how fast you your uh, algorithm can learn or improve okay so basically what you are doing is you are processing this window you you will first do it here you will then move move how much you move is you can uh, there are certain algorithms where you move by one certain algorithms you move by one as in those are more a step but in terms of computation generation of one output basically you are putting this over here multiplying and adding so basically you are s cross r which is dependent upon the weight or the filter or kernel you for generating one output you need to do s cross r multiplication and addition or max okay because each of the row you will multiply by the column and you will put tightly on the size here so basically for each producing one output or one output here one pixel here you have to do s cross r, r max multiplication and addition now so since your output is e cross f in order to generate all the outputs you have to do s cross r multiplied by e cross f okay that is the number of max or multiply and addition steps you have to do to compute this now of course if you are if you were your input size was high a lot of pixels have very high resolution image of course you will have to do more operation so that's uh, as an uh, understandable so basically uh, and how many outputs you are generating like let's say if outputs were generated were lesser in size then you will have to do less max so it's basically how how what filter you are using and how much operations you are doing to generate an output that will be dependent upon okay. now you can have multiple channels like in in the cases of image input uh, you you can apply different filters to different channels of the image red green and blue or let's say if you are using more channels as well but basically typically input can be multi dimensional in case of image these will be channels so three dimensional input you and you are applying a three dimensional filter 
So you basically multiply S cross R cross C and you're generating E cross F output. That will be your number of MAC operations you have to do.